Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and this is the June 2016 pickups video. This one is a massive, and I mean massive, pickups video. I don't think I'll top this for quite some time. Um, and there, there's just so much stuff that I'm going to kind of have to unfortunately grocery list it a little bit. I wanted to try to avoid that. But first, we're going to start off with a whole bunch of last gen games that were all $2 or less a piece. Uh, we did get one on the Wii, one on the 360, and a whole stack on the PS3. So let's start with the Wii one. This is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. This game right here actually looks pretty interesting. I actually uh, think I might enjoy this one. It's supposed to be kind of an on-rail shooter that you can do co-op on, and it also plays kind of like a third-person shooter. So I guess you could say it's something like uh, Time uh, time Crisis or whatever, you know. So it looks like it'd be pretty cool. Now, one on the 360, this was kind of like a one that I figured probably would suck, but you know what? I was like, screw it. It's $199. And that is NPPL Paintball League Championship Paintball 2009. That is such a mouthful from Activision. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure this one probably sucks. I would be really surprised if the online still worked. But, you know what? I figure this would be a really interesting game to play, and it says you can design your own fields and take them online. So we'll see if the online feature works if I ever get around to it. Um, now we've got the PS3 games. Um, and I'll just show you guys. Some of these still have the GameStop stickers because I haven't removed them yet. Here is uh, Genji Days of the Blade. This is a launch PlayStation 3 title, um, which is a sequel to the Genji game from PS2, which I actually like quite a bit, but this one apparently got panned a lot. I'm really not sure why, but like I said, this is a launch PS3 game. Maybe that's part of the reason why. Maybe it felt too much like a PS2 game still. Uh, then we've got Generation Rex Agent of Providence, which is based on the Cartoon Network show that I've never seen in my life, but I figure, you know what, this game actually looks kind of interesting, and for two bucks, why not? Uh, these next games, unfortunately, don't have a, any cover art, but if I can get cheap cover art for them, I'll probably get it for them. But since they were all $2 or less, I was like, screw it, I'll do it. So first we've got Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. I guess I'll just remove the discs so you guys can see. This is actually Continuum Shift Extend as you can see there. Okay. And these games are all in great shape. Uh, kudos to GameStop for this. Uh, some of these games are still in sleeves. I haven't messed with them yet. Uh, the second is Fairy Tale Fights, uh, which is supposed to be kind of like a beat-em-up where you're playing as fairy tale characters in a super violent environment. So I guess it's kind of like Conker's Bad Fur Day, except a lot less platforming, a lot more fighting. Uh, then we've got Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, which, uh, needless to say, it's a movie game. I think this one actually might be pretty good, though, because the other Chronicles of Narnia game wasn't too bad. Uh, we've got another Disney game, Disney G-Force, which, interestingly enough, has 3D capabilities. Like, not like true 3D, but like anti graph glasses, so it's really shitty, I guess. <laughs> Uh, then we've got Chaotic Shadow Warriors right here. I'm not familiar with this series at all. Uh, I understand it's kind of like a ripoff of Pokemon or uh, those kinds of things. So, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I really don't know much about it. Okay, so we got a whole other stack here. As I said, I got a whole bunch, guys. Uh, we've got Kill Zone 2, which you guys. If you haven't seen, look up my GameStop video where you can buy a game for under a buck. Killzone 2 is one of those games. Just to show you, you can get some really quality games. Some of these games are duds, of course, but I'm not going to complain, you know. Uh, it's this price. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Another movie-based game. This one apparently sucked too, but you know what? I really enjoy the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, so I'll give it a shot. Okay, uh, My Sim Sky Heroes. This game actually, I've never even heard of it before. It actually looks pretty interesting because 
you uh, are able to customize your own aircraft. You can play multiplayer. Uh, it seems like a really cool, kid-friendly game. Uh, this one might actually be kind of like a sleeper game. You know, I never know. Uh, then we got a pair of Skylanders games because I got Skylanders Swap Force on the Wii. And I figure might as well get a couple of uh, Skylanders games since they're all like a dollar a piece now, pretty much. And so we got Giants and Spyro's Adventures. I'm not sure if I'm going to need Skylanders from these games at all, but we shall see. Um, oh, you know what? I actually forgot. Uh, speaking of Skylanders, hold on a second. Okay, so to finish that thought, speaking of Skylanders, I picked this up from Five Below. It's a three-pack of Skylanders Swap Force figures. Hopefully, they'll work on those games. If not, I guess I'll have to figure something out, I guess, you know. I'm not trying to get huge into it. I'm just trying to get enough into it that I can actually play the games and see what they're like and uh, probably end up selling or whatever. We'll see. Okay, so we covered all those. And now, this is another surprise one to get. Resistance Fall of Man for only a buck. This was a classic launch PS3 game. This is one of the best ones on the PS3 at launch, so a really nice snag indeed. Um, I actually played a little bit before in the past, and I really enjoyed it. It's not the best FPS. I'd probably prefer Killzone over it, but for a early PS3 game, this one definitely does the job. Uh, then we have Leisure Suit Larry Box Office Bust. Uh, this game is apparently infamously bad, uh, but I just had to try it for myself because it's Leisure Suit Larry, you know, can't uh, can't go wrong with that. It's such perverted humor, you know, it's it'd be interesting to see. Uh, and this one apparently requires an install on the PS3, so thanks guys. And we have Seen It for the PS3, Seen It, Bright Lights, Big, whatever, it's like a trivia game. And, you know, it's Seen It. You guys probably know what Seen It is. Now, this is the last one. This one actually really surprised me that it was only two bucks because it's kind of an older game. Uh, it's not exactly the most common. It wasn't exactly a big seller either, so it's probably going to be crawling up in price once people realize about it. Uh, it's John Woo Presents Stranglehold, and the PS3 one is the one you want to get because it also features on the same disc a copy of Hard Boiled the classic movie and you know basically the movie that inspired this game and so that is really nice man two bucks all these were from GameStop you know a company that people regularly shit on <laughs> I did get one other PS3 game that did cost a little bit more but I figure you know what I like this franchise and I want to see what this one's like and that's Yakuza Dead Souls now, it's probably going to wait until I beat Yakuza 4 and 5 before I actually get around to this one. But it is definitely one I'm going to be interested in checking out. So, that's already enough for a pickups video, but we have more. Uh, we have some current gen that we picked up. So, first, Overwatch Origins Edition. I still need to get around to playing this. I played the beta, I love the heck out of it, and I'm going to be playing it very soon. Um, look me up on PSN at Down Phoenix if you play this game and we can play together. Uh, then we've got Mirror's Edge Catalyst. You guys probably already knew about this one because I've streamed it. I will get back to streaming this, but I will say so far I'm really enjoying this game. I don't understand the criticisms, other than it does have quite a few bucks uh, for an open world game, which is kind of weird saying that because open world games tend to be buggier, but um, I guess what I mean is it's not as polished as it could be, but the gameplay is rock solid, so. I really enjoy it. And then UFC 2. Uh, this is a game that I picked up so that I can play uh, with my buddy Suck My Dicka 75. Uh, he's actually got a YouTube channel. His name's actually Gary. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below so you can check out some videos of me and him playing this game. He, he Spoiler alert though, he kicks my butt at this, so that's why I got to pick up my own copy so that we can play. Uh, okay. Now, here is one of the big things here. Um, I'm just going to show it to you. I, fortunately, I could not get this brand new because Sony apparently doesn't like making these available for stores anymore. But I had to get this. PlayStation Vita. This is the Aqua Blue model right here. 
as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it and I was playing Uncharted Golden Abyss right there let's go ahead and show you a list of games I've got downloaded to I've got a whole bunch of games right there I don't know if you guys can really see it but yeah I've got a whole bunch of digital games on the 16 gig card and you know a lot of them were freebies I got a couple off PSN during the cheap sales and things like that I did get a couple of physical games to go along with it. Tokiden, Age of Demons, or Tokiden, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's one of those physical Vita games. It's a really interesting game. I played a little bit of it. It's uh, kind of like an RPG Dynasty Warrior, um, except not huge numbers of enemies. It's a little bit more toned down there, but the enemies themselves are a bit tougher. This is actually a really interesting series, and I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Uh, this is apparently not even the good version, because there's also... Tokiden Kiwami, I think it's called. It's a sequel or a revamp or something. It's supposed to be better even, so we'll see. And then also Corpse Party Blood Drive, the Ever After Edition. This was on sale at GameStop, and I had to get it. Uh, this was definitely worthwhile. And um, so, you know, I decided why not? I kind of liked some scary games, and this would be a kind of a cool one to see, you know. A Corpse Party Blood Drive. As you can see there, maybe you can see the back kind of there. Okay. So. Uh, oh, I also forgot. You guys probably already know about this. I got the EverDrive MD. This is a Sega Genesis Flash card. So this is the only retro pickup I've got right here. I did a video on this too if you want to see this in action. But that's not all. There is one last thing that we're going to cut to right now. All right, so I wasn't sure how to best go about this, but uh, I think I found a good little thing I can show you guys here. Uh, label, of course, for my address is not showing on video. On purpose, so that you guys don't send me fan mail or hate mail or something like that. Huh. <laughs> okay, but anyways, sorry if it shakes a little bit here. I had to set up my uh, tripod in a very specific way for my camera's cell phone. So, we're going to open this box up right now. What could be inside? You may wonder. Well, this isn't exactly gaming related, but it will be channel related, and that's why it's featured right now. So, this will have to move out a little bit here. And, as you can see, it says Dell right there. That's right. So, what are the contents that we have? So, we do have a generic USB keyboard right here that I'll probably never even touch because I've got a Razer desktop here, so I have no need to use this keyboard. Okay, what else do we have here? Go ahead and lift this up here. Okay, we do also have a generic USB mouse, you know, um, laser style. No need to use it. A power cable for something, as well as a adapter for VGA and DVI in case you still have a VGA monitor. We also have a operating system disc. I think you guys might see where this is going. <laughs> I think you might see. Okay. And there she is. We're going to go ahead and pull this thing out of the box here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do this right. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this back. All right. I had to reposition here, so we're going to go ahead and pull this out now. Okay, we're going to move this box out. Hold on a second. So here it is. This is my new computer. Um, I really intended on building my own machine. But I found a deal that was just unbeatable, and I had to take advantage of it. But there's a real story behind it, because apparently 
I thought I wasn't going to get this. See, I placed the order about the middle of June uh, for this machine after I saw the deal on IGN Deals. Um, in case you're wondering, this does have a Core i7. And this is not just any Core i7, this is the Core i7-6700. So it features the latest Skylake architecture. So this is not like a computer that's a clearance uh, third gen i7 or something like that. They're trying to get rid of the rest of the inventory for anything like that. This is supposed to be the brand spanking new i7. Okay. Of course, we've got a DVD drive, a couple of USB 3.0 ports, SD card, headphone jack, a bunch of plastic covers on the front there. And then, of course, we've got a bunch of ports on the back here, HDMI, uh, you know, VGA, LAN, a um, couple of, uh, there's like a total of three HDMI ports because there's one right here integrated into another board and then two on the graphics card that this has, which is not a very good graphics card. It's an R9 360. It's not exactly the best. Um, it's pretty comparable overall in specs to what my... Radeon HD 6970 is, which is an old card. But that was like an old top of the line card versus this is like a new low mid tier card. Um, they're pretty comparable in specs overall, according to the benchmarks and things like that I've looked at. But um, I do intend on getting a, um, I'm trying to think here. I do intend on getting a better graphics card for this thing. The only thing is, since uh, this machine is a bit smaller than my current tower that I'm using, I've got an HP tower. Um, I think my HP is supposed to be a mid ATX. This is like a mini ATX or something like that. So it's definitely smaller. I'm going to have to look into it to see what exactly I could use as far as power supplies. Because the power supply this has built in is not going to handle a uh, RX 480 card, which is ultimately the graphics card I want to get for this. Uh, plus, I don't think the case is even the right size for it. Um, but it, you know what? This will be a total awesome editing beast, even if it's not great for PC gaming. And it'll still handle PC gaming just fine. The reason why I wanted to get in the computer, besides obviously up in the YouTube game, because I want to step my YouTube game up, right, guys? Um, also, the other reason why is because my computer that I have now is on an older architect that there's like really no CPU upgrades that are worth doing. And the parts are like all used now. You can't really get the CPUs new anymore. They're not cheap. It's just, it's at a dead path. There's really no reason to upgrade that machine unless I swap out parts entirely like motherboards and things like that. And this goes back to why I bought this because I parted everything out. With this included, if I just bought that, this was $200 cheaper. I couldn't believe it but I was able to get a pre-built machine for cheaper than it would have been for me to build it myself. The only downside, of course, to a pre-built is there's going to be a bunch of bloatware and things like that I'll have to mess with, so that's going to occupy my days uh, before I really get heavy usage on this. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this machine. Uh, this definitely is a great end to the pickups video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, sub, share if you want. You can even thumbs down if you don't like me. I don't care because you still gave me a view. And so you're still cool in my book. So till then, Down Phoenix out.